detect earlier, diagnose easier, treat better for all women from end to never end. My name is Marty Kaiser, and I'm the founder and chairman of Mamagen. I'm Elizabeth Cormier May, and I'm the CEO of Mamagen. I'm Patrick Lilly, and I'm the CEO and founder of Liquid Biosciences. And I'm also a member of the board of directors of Mamagen. Mamagen is a company designed to be for women, led by women, about women, across a multitude of clinical indications. We are starting with early detection breast cancer because it's a really defined, unmet clinical need. When you're dealing with women's health issues, even if you are a survivor of something like breast cancer, we know that your life is never truly the same ever again, and that there's a whole entire journey that comes with being a survivor from one of these diseases. There's anxieties, there are body shame issues, there are marital challenges along the way. And so from Amagen, we took that company's mission a step further and said, we don't wanna just be an end-to-end -end company. We actually wanna be an end-to-never-end -end company. And what that means to us at Mamagen is that we are here for the women we serve from the second they come into our world by sending us a test to um, the second that they decide, you know, this breast cancer diagnosis has changed my life and I don't know where to go to get some of these answers. It's great to be able to treat cancer patients and take care of cancer and do surgeries, but the goal really is early detection. It's really finding out who's at higher risk and what we can do to increase their uh, chances that they will not develop cancer even. Now what's different about the way we're doing it is it's just a simple blood draw, but it is capturing the biology of the woman and the breast cancer and her response to the cancer, not just tumor cells that are floating around in the blood. That makes it a lot more accurate and a lot more predictive of the actual risk and what, how quickly the disease will progress. So we're really trying to rule more of the right women in earlier and rule more of the wrong women out. And, and that is the foundation of Mamagen and, and those are the two you know, initial focuses for the company, but it's really important to, to point out that longer term, our biomarkers, our science, our, our IP is not specific to just one age group. We can, it actually spans all stages of, of disease. It spans regardless of your age, your demographics, where you come from, your family history. Uh, it's, it's completely unbiased to those things. Mamagen has really um, refined the science that gives us a very high sensitivity and also what we call specificity. It's not only sensitive, but it's specific for detecting those changes inside a person's cells at that point of testing to determine if they're likely to develop a cancer, a breast cancer specifically. And that to me is revolutionary. So that's what makes Mamagen unique. The secondary part of that is the fact that they are using RNA. We have not only discovered a completely novel set of biomarkers, uh, all RNA-based technology, where we're not looking at the um, tumor-derived markers like you often see in, in late-stage uh, therapy selection in the liquid biopsy space. We're looking at RNA. We're looking at the body's biological response to disease, and we're looking at a very unique set of novel biomarkers and how they come together and interact mathematically to say, yes, you have something or no, you don't. So by looking at RNA, we get immediate, real-time, early information for these women so that my hope is even if we've given them a couple months to make these decisions, those couple months could change the course of their lives. And if we're finding it early enough and we're extending them that time to think about these things that traditionally they don't have time to think about, then that to me is as meaningful as giving them a reliable diagnostic answer. And so I think it's really important that the world understands RNA offers us advantages that DNA just can't. And we just uh, secured a lab partnership to take the science and now move it into clinical development and fast track this to the patients that we set out to serve. P4 Diagnostics is a lab services and healthcare IT company. It's a network of laboratories throughout the United States. All of these laboratories are seamlessly connected through our laboratory information system, for lack of a better word. This is the brain of the laboratory and it moves specimens in and out. It's also connected not only to each laboratory, but also to our clients. So something like Mamagen fits into this very well because we have the tools in place to be able to give you this diagnostic readiness at really the drop of a hat versus having to send this to a single laboratory where the workups have to be done all over the place. 
We started with the data, we started with the science, and then we built the company out from there. We started identifying the people that could bring expertise to the business and accelerate the growth of the company. So the future for Mamagen is ex exceedingly exciting and bright. I feel very passionate about the fact that I am here to serve women. And we're starting in breast cancer and we'll move on from there, but I've spent just as much time talking and interviewing breast cancer patients and survivors as I do doing all of the normal CEO things. So every decision we make at Mamagen has a patient in mind because ultimately, the second I lose sight of that, the second I can't make Mamagen into the powerhouse diagnostic company that I know we're gonna be.